Okay, hello everyone. Welcome, welcome. I'm letting a few people into the room. And I'm just going to change a couple of my Zoom settings here. But thank you guys so much for coming on a Friday. You know, when I was getting ready for the Zoom call, I'm like, it probably would have made more sense on a Sunday. But also sometimes people are with family on Sunday or they're getting ready for the week ahead. So I felt like, you know, before it got too late on a Friday, uh, let's just get this training started. So I know there's going to be people coming in and out of the Zoom room, um, but just FYI, you are on mute and your video is off. So feel free to wash the dishes, um, to run an errand, whatever you have to do so that you can stay on Zoom. You will not interrupt me. You will not interrupt anyone else who is tuning in. Um, and before I get into my introductions, because I'm just gonna jump right into things, I'm also sharing that this replay is for anyone who's tuning into the replay. So I don't know who those amazing district sellers are yet, but I wanna thank you in advance for tuning into the replay. I'm also posting this to my YouTube channel. And so if you are watching on YouTube at any point, there will be tons of links in the description so that you can refer to um, anything that I mention on this training. Um, so guys, my name is Sammy Davis and I am the founder of Vintage and Lux Boss Babes. This is my, I think, fourth time doing a live Zoom training for district sellers. Moving forward, this is going to be a replay that I pass on to them. So thank you so much for tuning in live because you get the benefit of asking questions live at the very end. If you have a question that just, you know, comes up as I'm speaking, I'm about to comment in the chat so that you can see. And you are welcome to leave a question there and I will get to it at the end, okay? Now, this presentation, I'm talking, but I will be sharing my screen for a lot of it. So if you are walking around or you're just not able to look at your screen, I'll try to explain what I'm doing on the screen so at least you can understand if you're just listening. But I do advise if you can't watch this intently to definitely tune back. I will be sending the replay link to everyone and it will be really helpful so that when you dive into uh, selling on district, which I'm so excited in advance for you, you just have a better lay of the land um, and you just, you understand the full capacity of the tools that district provides for you to sell more vintage and in our community, Lux for Less. So before I start sharing my screen, I'm going to briefly talk about who I am uh, and who Vintage and Lux Boss Babes is. I do have some notes here. Um, so if I look down, that's just so that I don't miss a beat. But long story short, I've personally been a vintage seller since 2009, which I feel like is the dark ages. Now we were selling online in 2009, um, but platforms like District and Whatnot and Jamble and all of these great live selling platforms did not exist. In 2019, however, I started a little membership community on Facebook, which we will talk about Facebook later on during this presentation that I named at the time Thrift Babes. Thrift Babes evolved into Vintage Boss Babes, and today we go by Vintage and Lux Boss Babes, just to be more specific with what we offer. And this little membership community, it grew to be nearly 5,000 members and over, I think, 300 people who registered as official sellers in the group. So what does that mean? That means that I built something on Facebook where you could post an item for sale. Someone could say, I want it, sold. And then that seller, they send a PayPal invoice, they ship it out, blah, blah, blah. There was always a small fee to participate as a seller. It was free for the buyer. And then we got into something called live selling. Live selling really blew up in April of 2020. That was during the pandemic, which feels like so long ago. But during the pandemic, we were all at home and live sales just again, just really blew up in popularity because we were we were at home and it was interesting and it was novel. And it was a really fun way to showcase an item, right? Because when you see it static, it doesn't give it dimension. But when you see it on a video, you can be like, oh yeah, I can really see that for myself. Or, oh, I really understand the size of that. And so since April of 2020, uh, we've been hosting live sales almost every day 
on Facebook. Now, fast forward to February of this year, 2023. I received an email from the head of fashion at District, and she reached out to me and said that she had found Vintage Locks Boss Babes. And would I be interested in learning more about starting a marketplace on District? Now, honestly, I was like, uh, what the heck is this? Like, I thought it was a scam. What I ended up doing is I did some research <laughs> on the company and I found that they actually had investors. So if you guys are familiar with Whatnot, which is a live selling platform, the same investors and Whatnot have also invested in District. So this is a fully funded legit company. Okay. This is not out of someone's basement basement. There are many employees and, and hands in the pot here. And so because I, you know, recognize that this, this was something real, I jumped on a call and district really understood my vision as someone who was already building a live sale and static posting platform on Facebook. My vision has always been to help people to sell and buy more vintage. With Facebook, it's been great because it's been very DIY, but having the tools and having the reach, that was something that I was really hitting a ceiling around, you know, like I'm not a software engineer. I can't make an app. I can't change Facebook and make Facebook do things to make it easier to sell vintage. And so when I had that meeting and when I was inspired to say yes to this possibility, um, I, I personally jumped right in and started selling in March. And then I started to enroll some of our top sellers and vintage, vintage and Lux boss babes to sell on district today. We are, I think now 550 members. We have about two to three live sales per week. Some weeks we have more and we have almost 1500 listings. Now there's so much more to share than that, but I wanted to give you guys some of the background so that you understood who I was um, as, as a marketplace owner, which is such a strange thing to say. I always like to say admin, but technically I do own this marketplace and it is a commission-based marketplace, which I will get into later. So there are no fees to be a seller. There's no fees to host a live sale. You can book as, as many as you want. Um, it is something that you do book with a calendar, but you can literally after this training or as soon as you see this training and you're approved as a seller, you can begin listing items for sale. I don't you know, tie you guys down to, oh, you have to connect with me first. If you're approved as a seller, if you want to figure it out and start listing, go for it. But this training is designed to help give you just that whole shebang um, of understanding so that you um, can really, really utilize what this platform is has built and is actually still building for you because they are still a startup. So they're still actually adding more bells and whistles as we speak. So let's start sharing my screen, shall we? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to share my screen. You may or may not see my crazy desktop because I have a lot uh, going on on my laptop. So I'm going to bring this over here to the Vintage Boss Babes Marketplace. Now, if you are someone that somehow found this Zoom um, and you haven't applied to be a seller, when you go to district.net forward slash Vintage Boss Babes, you're going to see an option to join and an option to apply to be a seller. Vintage and Lux Boss Babes or Vintage Boss Babes, we are a clothing and accessories based marketplace. We are currently accepting sellers of say, you know, trashkies and knickknacks and home decor and things like that. But I do you know, just want to point out that our focus really is clothing, as you can see here from our header. And so that's what's going to succeed most on our platform. It is free to join as a, a free to join as a buyer. If you join as a seller and you just want to be a seller and not do anything, that's totally OK. Um, there's no pressure. It's not like you're signing up for a job. So let's take a quick tour here of district. Um, you guys, when you log in, you might see things that look a little bit different, but you're going to see a, um, a announcement that changes. I usually change it every two to three days. And then you're going to see our auctions, which are like eBay auctions where you can actually bid um, just on the site. Um, and it's usually 
a day, three days, five days, or seven days. So that is an option you guys have, and I'll show you more how to create those. And then we have trending, just listed, ships free, and hot deals, which are usually like our very inexpensive pieces. If the seller is accepting offers, which I'll share with you guys again, when we get into how to make a listing, you're going to be able to make an offer, but you can also buy it now. If the make an offer option is there, hey, go for it. The seller can always decline or counter. And as you can see, this is one of our top sellers. She's got an amazing description. You can learn more about her by clicking her name, which is Dizzy Dreamer Vintage. You can see all of her activities. So you can see what other items she has listed for sale. Why I love District is because you're able to find your favorite seller's items very easily, okay? So if I go into listings, I'm able to sort by seller. So I'm gonna show you guys, we have a live seller going live tomorrow at 10 a.m. Her name is Alex Giros. These are her items for sale. And so I can find all of her items in one place. I don't have to go through the whole marketplace looking for Alex. Now let's say I want, you know, a particular type, buy it now or auction, or a particular category. I've also made a plus size category, a large, a medium, an extra small to small, because I also understand that oftentimes we just wanna find something that's in our size. Um, and that can be very frustrating on other platforms as well, especially in the Facebook community where we can't categorize. It's just whatever you see in the feed. Okay, guys, so that's just a quick little tour. I want to also just point out that I'm on desktop and anyone can list on desktop. And I'm about to show you guys how to list. But if you want to list on your phone, you unfortunately have to have an iPhone. Now, I'm hoping that District, uh, they expand and they have an Android app for the uh, Google Play Store. But currently, it's only Apple devices. If you don't have an iPhone, but you want to list with a handheld device, you can also use an iPad because you can download the district app to your iPad. I've had a couple of live sellers who want to go live, but they have Android phones, so they can't go live. They borrow an iPad from a family member so that they can use the iPad to go live. You can't go live on desktop. So anyone who's listening, I like to be very clear about this because understandably, if you don't have an Apple device, I don't want you to be frustrated if you go to sign up for a live sale and you can't go live. But again, if you have an Android and you can somehow get your hands on someone else's iPhone or iPad, you can still go live from someone else's device using your login details to district. And then you can do everything else you need on desktop. So you can ship, you can list, you can talk to people, um, you can decline, you can uh, make counters to offers. Everything you need but going live is on the district desktop. So have no fear, guys. All right. So what I'm also, okay. So next up, there's a lot of things that I still want to show you guys. Hold on one second. Before we move into showing you how to list an item, which is probably the most important part of this uh, training, every single person who has a district account, they have a special referral link. So you're going to find it the upper right hand corner of your desktop app. If you have the district app, and I'm going to show you guys really quickly there. If you have the district app, it is going to be where it's hard to see, but there's going to be a money sign on the left-hand side. That's where my money sign is. And I know this is hard because it has to focus. You see where it says share referral link. But on desktop, it's very easy to find because it says get $5. So if you click this, you have a link that you can share with anyone. And if they use your link and they get $5 off their first purchase, so it does have to be their first purchase on district, you will get $5 credit in your account 
to use on district. I just think that is the most fun thing, especially if you are a seller who has a clientele and you can promote the fact that you're on district to that clientele, share this referral link with them. You're also going to have a very specific code that you can also just share with them and they input that into the um, coupon code area of checkout. It's pretty easy to find. But long story short, you can share away, okay? So you can refer as many people as you want. Again, the only clause is that it has to be their first purchase on the platform. Okay, so let's dive into listing an item. I'm going to show you from desktop, and then I'm going to briefly show you one key difference on the app. And it's not a serious difference. It's more of a aesthetic difference. And sorry, guys, this might load a little slow just because I'm on Zoom. There we go. Okay, so the first thing that pops up when you click list an item, and also I want to point out, since personally starting on District in March of this year, I've sold almost $14,000. Um, our marketplace has done almost twenty five, dollars which I just think is phenomenal and, again, really a testament to our mission of selling more vintage. Okay, so back to listing. So you have the option of buy now or auction. Now, with buy now, you can always choose that people can make an offer. Buy now is a really great option if you want to keep items in your district marketplace and you can easily continuously bring them back to your live. You can also bring the auctions back to your live, but I just find that the buy it now is when they're on, on the marketplace, then people will always find them. Auctions are better for your lives or if you're going to do a multi-day auction, which will live on the district marketplace. But the multi-day auctions that live on the district marketplace Again, they have a set period of time and then they expire. Let's just talk about buy it now, all right? So you can upload multiple images at once. And I'm not going to share with you guys, you know, anything really about, you know, photography. But of course, if you have questions about how to take good photos of your vintage items, please let me know. I'm just going to upload this vintage ad. I'm actually building a course about vintage jewelry right now. And you guys can see we can actually zoom in. We can zoom out, but that looks fine. Now, that's just one item um, or one photo. I do recommend posting, you know, as many photos that make sense to describe the item. You don't have to, you know, post 12 items or 12 photos rather. Okay, let's do this Schiaparelli ad. I know these are very random guys. Okay, so now we have two, and then you're gonna write your title. So I'm just gonna put vintage jewelry, 1920s brooch. Your description is very important for people shopping on the marketplace. If you're just focused on live selling, you don't have to write the longest of descriptions. But again, district is a place where you can have your items listed for sale and then you can constantly bring them back to your lives. People might find them on the lives. They might find them from the marketplace. So write your description here. If this were a clothing item, I highly suggest measurements as well as, I can't spell tonight, um, condition. Okay, as well as additional details. You want to be as transparent as possible when you are describing your items. Variants, just skip that. That has nothing to do with selling secondhand. Next, we have our price. Okay, so let's say you're like, all right, 45 would be great. Quantity is one, unless you legitimately have two or three of the same vintage item, which rarely happens, but it's going to default to one. So 45, you know, let's just say again with offers on, which offers for me are automatically on. I think when you start, you do have to click them to, to or click it to keep it automatically on for your future listings, but you can always turn it off and turn it on. You just can't do it after you've list, listed the item. 
Now, 45, great. If someone buys it at 45, but let's say they buy it at 35, are you okay with that by accepting offers? But if you're just like, no, I will only take 45, nothing less, then you are welcome to turn off offers. Now, let's talk about shipping. Something that's really exciting about District is that we're open to the US and to Canada. So we can have US sellers and we can have Canadian sellers. Both of our sellers can sell to their, their own country's buyers or the other country's buyers. So for example, a Canadian seller can sell to Canadian buyers and US buyers and a US seller can sell to US buyers and Canadian buyers, okay? What gets to happen here is that you choose how you want your shipping to be calculated. If you are a experienced reseller, you're gonna be very comfortable with flat rate shipping because you know that a certain item, it's probably just gonna be like four bucks to ship. If you are not an experienced seller, I suggest calculated shipping. So this is my postal code, it defaults to that. And then you wanna put in the approximate weight of that item and the approximate dimensions of the package that you anticipate it's going to be shipped in. Again, this training is not talking about, you know, shipping and, you know, you know, how to ship. But if you do have questions, you are welcome to get in touch with me. So based on the calculated shipping, you can choose your options. There's no real difference between ground advantage and, pri and priority mail other than speed. So I would personally choose ground advantage because it costs less. All right. Now, this is for U.S. shipping. We're going to go over Canadian shipping briefly. But what I want to point out that's really, really awesome for you guys to use is if you don't do calculated shipping. Okay, so actually I have to turn it off. Um, I guess I guess I do this. I'm not sure how to turn it off, actually. Hold on, guys. Uh, did I turn it off this way? Hit rates. No. Huh. Well, I might have to start that fresh because I'm actually not quite sure how to turn that off. Um, but let's just say I'm going to start fresh here. All right. Let's see. Can I turn that off? Sorry, guys. You know what? I'm just going to start fresh. Okay. So we're going to go back to shipping. Let's just pretend that I actually had that, that item still there. Progressive shipping can only be activated if you do flat rate shipping. But here's why progressive shipping is really awesome for clothing, because you're able to give your buyers the best deal with shipping. So I strongly suggest it as a marketplace owner, as long as you're not shipping something that's like super big. So like calculated shipping is great for like a fur coat. And you're like, yo guys, you just have to pay what it costs to ship this fur coat. But everything else, you can individually go, you know what, I'm going to start shipping at about $8, okay? And then everything after that first purchase, where they're charged $8, it's $1 per additional item. So hear me out. You're doing a live sale, and people are buying multiple items from your live sale, and they buy their first item and let's just say, you know, it's a it's a pair of pants, right? They're charged $8. But then they buy a shirt. They're charged $1. You can easily combine both of those in the same package. What you can't do is combine the pants and say a really heavy fur coat in the same package. So when you go to list the heavy fur coat, that's when you want to do something like calculated shipping. But when you're listing the shirts and the pants and a headscarf and maybe a piece of jewelry, you can keep progressive shipping turned on, okay? The flat rate shipping, again, this is gonna be the cost for that first purchase. I suggest $8 just because it does cover shipping and handling. Um, you can put $4 on something that's like, you know, a brooch, um, especially if you're just doing jewelry. 
but keep in mind that um, if they're just charged four dollars for that brooch, right, and then they actually buy a shirt and they're only charged a dollar, your shipping is going to be more than five dollars. So that four plus one dollars to combine a brooch and a shirt, you're still going to need probably about seven or eight dollars. I hope that that makes sense. I know that, um, again, sh shipping can be something very overwhelming for people, but we are here to support you. There is a support chat for that. Um, and that is something that with time and experience, it becomes much easier. You can also just charge $8 for every single item or $4 for every single item and turn off progressive shipping. However, I do support progressive shipping for helping people to bundle items together. If they're buying from the marketplace, there's a seven day window for that progressive shipping, um, but I can change that for your account so that it's only a one day window. Okay, so let's go to Canadian shipping. This is something that I bet a lot of people are like, I don't even want to ship to Canada. Well, you again can do calculated shipping. So let's say you wanna to ship to Canada and it's gonna be two pounds. Then district is going to automatically calculate with their shipping software, the best rate that they can give you, $23.34. And that is actually very fair. You might be able to go on another shipping platform and maybe it's $18, but that is very, very, very fair. What I don't suggest for Canadian shipping is that progressive shipping op option because shipping in Canada is expensive. Shipping international is, is expensive. Um, and so calculated shipping is a great thing, but also you can do flat rate shipping. And something that's a good idea is that for every one pound, it's usually about 12 to $14. You could just charge $15 for every item. And if you find that it costs you less to actually ship it, according to district, you can still refund your customer. So you can just make it very easy and be like, hey, I'm charging flat rate shipping or calculated shipping if you're in Canada. You might be overcharged a little bit. I'll take a look on the back end and I will refund you whatever the difference is. Usually it might be eight or $10, just depending on how much they bought. Free shipping. Again, I strongly suggest that if you, know, you feel like, hey, that's totally okay. If I lose some bucks off the top on this item, I've seen free shipping when people are selling like a designer good, that's hundreds and hundreds of dollars because it makes sense to incentivize people. All right, so I'm just gonna do free shipping. I'm going to finish this listing really quickly so that we can see this live, okay? And so we're gonna save that. So we're just gonna call it a test listing. And that way you guys can see how this loads. We're gonna just put 20 bucks on it. We've got the $4 plus one, free shipping. I don't know if we want that for Canada. All right, you know what? We'll just keep it at free shipping for now. It's going to default to the Vintage Boss Babe Marketplace if, okay, you guys are only in the Vintage Boss Babe Marketplace, but you might actually join other marketplaces. So that is something for you just to note that you're posting to the correct place. Now here's where you can choose your tags, okay? So we've got some tags here. Oh, I see not all the tags are there. Interesting. I'm gonna have to make sure those, those other categories are there. And then here is where you're going to see earnings. So currently, if you are a seller in district, it is a commission to the marketplace district and a commission to Vintage Boss Babes. It adds up to be 10%. So that's 5% to district and 5% to Vintage Boss Babes. If you are familiar with other platforms, you know that most platforms are charging about 20%. So straight out the gate, it's really, really a great deal. The other thing to recognize is that there is a processing fee. So that's going to help you to price accordingly for your item. Now, in the future, and I'm just going to post this item, 
I have control over commission and I might do a commission free month, something like that, just to encourage more posting. So definitely look out for that. Now here is the item. So it just posted to my listings. These are all in my listings. I'm going to open it up so that you guys can see. And again, I'm sorry, it's a little slow because I'm on Zoom. That's always the bad thing about Zoom is that, um, all right, that's not opening. So what we'll do is we'll just go, we'll go over the marketplaces and it should, it should open over there. All righty. Let's see. Come on. All right, that's fine. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I feel so silly. All right, so let's do this. Let's go over to, um, go over to my profile and open it from there. Okay. So I didn't post multiple items here, but if I did, I'd be able to toggle. And then you guys can see my name, blah, blah, blah. I didn't write a description that would, nor that would normally be there. It's also very clear with the shipping so that anyone who wants to buy knows it's eligible for combined shipping, which is what progressive shipping means. Um, there's my name, excuse me, the amount of items I've sold when I was last online, um, where I am on the leaderboard, and then more of my items here. And you can click see all. So I wanted to share that with you guys so that you could actually see what happens when you make a listing. But what I also want to do is I want to show you on district the one key difference. So again, if if you have an iPhone, um, you do not have to use it to list, but, and I'm going to get here. Okay. So basically on your phone to find everything that you need as a seller, you're going to click this store. It doesn't look like a store until you really start to stare at it and you see that it's a storefront. It's like a, uh, it's like a store facade. And then it has everything you need as a seller. And there is a button, let me go back, that says list item, okay? And here's the one difference. And I'm about to bring up an item to show you an example, okay? So let's say that I want to list this patchwork coat, right? You see this background? So, on desktop, you can't remove the background, but on the app, you can. So it is loading. Look at that. Is that not amazing? And then I can actually adjust and I can make it a little bigger, although I think it's always good to have a little bit of white space. And it just looks so nice and clean. You can also make the background different colors if you prefer that. I think it's really pretty. And this is really going to create a, a professional look for your listings. So I'm so sorry to everyone who has an Android that doesn't have this automatically on their app. Um, but for those of us that are Apple users, whether it's the iPad or the iPhone, you have this option on the app. Okay, awesome, we did that. So let's share our screen again. And I'm just gonna come back to my notes here. Okay. We're going to share the screen. There's a lot to cover tonight, guys. So I am flying through here. And remember that you can ask anything um, by emailing me, uh, vintagebossbabes at gmail.com. But also, we have tons of chat. So we have a general chat, the sellers chat, which is only open to sellers, an outfit of the day chat, an in search of chat, and then ask district support. So did... If you ask district support, I'm not really going to get to that question. It's better if you want to talk to me directly to um, comment in chat or sellers. Okay, so I don't know what's going on with that page. We're just going to close it. Okay, guys, so I want to show you actually what a live sale looks like. So I'm going to show you a recording of one of our sellers. This is Alex. I had showed you her listings earlier of Maxi's Modern. And she is live right now. Not not right now, but um, she was live. 
And you can see how she actually is auctioning off this Ellie Tahari wool and silk jacket. And this is where her buyers can bid. So they can put in their own amount, press bid, or they can bid 100. Um, you can see here in the chat where there were previous bids. So it looks like someone bought something for 25, someone bought something for 20. Um, if you are the winner of a bid, it actually explodes on your screen. It's, it's really cool. And you as the seller, you can see live who is winning the bid. So you can actually call them out live, which is really, really, really fun. Now on the left-hand side, we have all of her buy it nows. And then if I were to click this, I can't because it's YouTube. It would show her auctions and then it would show her sold. She has sold 10 items so far. Uh, we can see her viewers. If we want to check out her marketplace, say to go make an offer or to see what else she has for sale because she might not be showing everything on this live, we can click this from the live on view marketplace. Now, this recording was from desktop. So again, anyone who has a... Um, Oh, and this is me showing Facebook. Anyone who has an Android phone can easily hop on their laptop and watch a district live. On iPhone or iPad, it does look different. It's just much more condensed and you have to click a few things to get access to everything here. Um, what I'm going to show you guys too um, when you sign up for a live is how to connect to Facebook pages, how, how to connect to YouTube pages, and also how to connect to Twitter or Twitch if you're on those platforms. So Alex right now, she's streaming on District, okay? And then she's also streaming on the Vintage and Lux Boss Babes Facebook page, which is 2,500 followers. And she's also streaming on her business page for her business, which is so cool because she's reaching her clients and then she's reaching the Vintage and Lux Boss Babes clients. Um, I'm not showing you guys how to do that tonight, just because that's going to be much easier training for when you sign up for a live. But the whole point of why District is so awesome is that the live streams can multicast. Okay, there's Alex. She actually pre-created her live for tomorrow, which is at 10 a.m. So I can click this. It's only going to show me the inventory that she might have started to upload. But this is the other great thing about District is that you can pre-schedule your lives and then you actually have a link. You see this link up here that you can share with your followers and let them know, hey, I'm going to be live. Open this link tomorrow at 10 a.m. and it will bring you directly to my live. Yeah, she's only uploaded one item so far, but as she uploads the rest of her items, we'll be able to see them. And we'll be able to anticipate what she's actually going to be selling, which I love. I love, 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 love. There's just so much amazing technology behind District. So I'm going to stop sharing my screen because I also want to show you guys when you go to host a live, and I'm going to explain to you shortly how to sign up for a live, and you'll get it um, for those of you who signed up for the training. At any point, you'll also get this link in your email. But going back to the the app, right? So again, you can't go live on the desktop, so you do need your iPhone or iPad. But when you go to your seller dashboard, you're going to be able to click your live streams. Make sure you can see that, your live streams. Okay. And then, oh shoot, I'm sorry. Not your live streams. You're, you're going to click go live. And let's make sure you can see it. Okay. Yes, there we go. You can actually begin to fill in the title, to upload an image, and to schedule when you're going to go live. So actually, I'm going to fill this in right now. Test live. And the thumbnail, it, automatic, it automatically chooses our header. But let's say you want to choose a thumbnail. So I'm going to choose a thumbnail. I'm just going to choose that jacket that I showed you guys. Okay. So now I have a preview image thumbnail for my live. I know this is really hard, guys. I'm so sorry. 
You can choose where you want to go live, which Vintage Boss Babes will probably default if you're not in another marketplace. And then at the very bottom, you can schedule. I think you guys can see that, right? And oops. Okay, lost that. We're, we're going to go schedule. Okay, and then make sure that we can see this. Yeah, there we go. You guys can schedule your live. So let's say I want to go live on Sunday at 5.45. I'm going to save. Press continue. I'm going to add at least one listing. And then it says I'm scheduled to go live. And that gives me the option to actually copy my live sale link so that I can share it with my following. So again, I'm going over things very quickly, but with the intention of showing you guys all the ways that district has designed itself to help you to sell more vintage. So let's also really quickly, all right, let's talk about a multi-day auction because we had briefly talked about that. I'm going to return to our listings and I'm going to open the one multi-day auction that we have. So as I mentioned, we focus on clothing um, and accessories. So vintage clothing, which is technically items 20 years or older or Lux for less, which can be modern, but can't be like, you know, fast fashion or like really, really cheap. It has to have some sort of panache to it. Okay. But, you know, art and housewares, it is an appropriate um, genre for us because, of course, it's secondhand. And so on district, um, there is that opportunity. And so this particular seller, um, my goodness, she's she's listing an entire oil painting. Um, she has a starting bid of 500. I think that's so awesome. If I place bid, it's going to start at 500. She's listed this for 30 days so that she can promote it so that other people on district can see it. Um, and, and again, just so that it has a sense of life. Oh, she's actually sold two items. That's awesome. Um, and so the way that you can make a multi-day auction, and I'm going to go back to my seller dashboard, which on desktop, again, look for that little storefront. All right and I'm going to list an item. Pardon me, guys, I'm gonna take a sip. Um, I'm going to choose auction. And again, let's just put in an image so I can list this for you guys. You actually can't list, I'll put Alex in. Alex is our seller tomorrow. So you can't list without a photo, so that is something to point out. Okay, so test multi-day auction, skip the variance. Okay, so your starting auction price. I'm gonna put $10, right? Now, this is where you are either going to make it available for your live sale or as a static post on the marketplace, okay? So if you want it to be a static post in the marketplace, don't click only available for live. You can choose when you're going to start the auction. So let's say you actually don't want to start it today. Excuse me. You want to start it on the 20th. Excuse me, guys. I just had dinner right before this presentation. And let's say end time 1123. But you're like, you know what? I actually do want to make this 30 days. But you guys can see you have these options and then you can make it custom. I actually think you can do it for like a whole year if you want. Jeez. Okay, let's say. All right, the 10. All right, so that is a 30 day. I think it only gives you 30 days actually. Okay, yeah, I've, I've never like looked. I am learning with you guys. So again, shipping, choose accordingly. Tags, choose accordingly, right? But I'm gonna post this item. And I don't think it actually opens there. I think I thought it opened there. So sorry about that, guys. Um, I'm going to go to marketplaces. And does it open there? No. Let's 
let's go back here. I mean, it should, it should open behind the scenes, but it looks like you actually have to go back to the marketplace to see it. So there we go. And you can see it starts in two days, 16 hours. It's not showing how long it will be. But again, if if there, if this was live and there were actually bids, it would show that there were bids, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So that is a multi-day auction. But I have a feeling that you guys want to host live sales and you probably want to do some auctions. That is the beautiful thing um, about districts that we did not have with our Facebook community is that now we can legally and professionally host auctions, which are very, very, very exciting. I find that starting a piece at $10, $15, dollars with the right audience, it can actually sell for more than I would have sold it for as a buy it now. So we're going to do a test auction. We're going to do that starting price to make it for the live. You have to press only available for live. So if you do a static auction on the site, you can't bring it to the live. It's a little confusing, but you have to make it only available for the live. I suggest choosing 60 seconds because if you choose two minutes, it's a very long bidding time and people can get kind of like, okay, I'm done with this. 60 seconds is the sweet spot because you start the bidding and then you hold up the item and you show it and you talk about it. And by the time a minute has run out, either someone has bid or no one has bid and you know it's time to move on. If someone is on the live and they miss the bidding and they say something, you can always restart it on the live. All right. So again, all you have to do is post the item. And then because you posted it only available for the live, it's not going to show up in the marketplace. So it's almost hidden from anyone who's looking at the marketplace. The only way someone can participate with this item is if they're watching your live sale and you actually bring it to stage during your live sale. Okay, guys. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to the marketplace and I'm going to see what other items I have from our community. And I want to show you guys another way to promote okay so district has been such a great platform to grow our listings and to grow our community and to grow our reach but we still are very much alive on facebook so if you are not already a member of the vintage and lux boss babes community i highly suggest that you join if you are a district seller and approved to sell on district you can post any of your items here to promote them for sale. There's no fee, there's no limits, go to town. As the marketplace owner, I am promoting your items in the community. So one of the benefits of posting to district is that you have a little bit of say, boss babe power behind you. So let's pretend, and I'm gonna go back, Let's pretend that this is your item. This is actually Maddie of Dizzy Dreamer Vintage. She's amazing. And I want to promote this in Vintage and Lux Boss Babes. Now, I don't have this photo on file. I'm going to take a screenshot of, shot of it. And I'm going to take a screenshot of this. Oh, I actually really like this. This is the problem is I'm always like shopping as I'm working. So I'm going to take a few screenshots just to show you guys how I suggest that you promote your items in Vintage and Lux Boss Babes. So you could just post that link, but I wanna show you how much nicer it looks if you take the time to actually post the photos from the listing. And all I expect you to do when you're posting your items in the group is to send people to district to purchase. So you're going to write your title, your description, your measurements. I know there's obviously so much more to write here. Love this so much. Um, $54 or buy it now. Click to purchase or make me an offer. And then you put that link. Okay. So I'm going to post this so that you guys can see what it looks like. 
and that is loading. And then I'm just gonna post the link because I want you to see the difference and why I really suggest that if you become a district seller with us and you want to be promoting your items for sale in Vintage, vintage Deluxe Boss Babes, that you make the extra time to write the description and to put the photo. So look, look how nice that looks, that's amazing. Now, if you're just like, okay, I'm just gonna, you know, promote the items and I'm just gonna do this, okay, post. Now it's still showing the item, but you haven't written anything, right? It's kind of cut off. People don't really quite know what it is. It is so much more personable to write it out, to say something, maybe say, hey, this is on district, go check it out. And then to put the photos in some sort of nice presentation. Now you don't have to put all photos. I think that photo probably would have been enough. Um, but it is, again, just so much more professional versus just posting the links. So the people that post the links, I don't think are as successful. Um, the other thing that you can do is you can post multiple items for sale in one post. So let's say you wanted to, you know, share this and then you wanted to share, I'm going to pretend like these are your items. The, oh, they are. These are all from Maddie. Um, you wanted to share, oh, I just lost it. Hold on, let me go forward. So let's go back to Maddie's listings. So, and then you wanted to also share these four listings, right? So you could take a photo or you could take one photo from all these, you know, these four listings, as well as this, post them in one post as like kind of a mini album, and then write something that says something like my newest favorite, I don't think newest is a word, but my newest favorite items for sale on district. Um, check them out. Um, buy it here, buy it here, buy it here. You know, maybe you want to put a brief description of each. So you can put, again, multiple items for sale with multiple links in one post. All right. Again, why I want people um, to be selling on district and posting the vintage, vintage and luxe boss babes is because it doesn't cost you anything up front. There's just a commission if you sell. Um, so it's absolutely free to post in the group. Those that aren't using district and are just posting items for sale in the group are paying a monthly fee to do that. And so you guys get to waive that and it's free for you guys, or it's free for anyone selling on district and using district links to promote their items for sale. All right. So I'm going to end with a really, really, really interesting add on that district has created. And actually, I'm sorry, I have to go back to my seller dashboard. District created something that they named magic comments. Okay, guys. So if you go to your seller dashboard and you scroll down, oops. No, it's not showing me the, sorry, guys. I am not having a good day here. Okay, there we go. Magic comments, how technology, right? So what magic comments are is the ability to share your items effortlessly from district to Twitter, Instagram, and a Facebook page. The Facebook page has to be a business page. Twitter, I think has to be a Twitter account and Inst or I'm so sorry, a business account and Instagram has to be a business account as well. So essentially what you can do is you can go to your listings after you connect to Magic Comments, which that will be a training that I can offer you if you're interested on how to do that. But it's basically you just connect your social profiles. But you can, with this arrow, you can share your items to Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook. And what people can do and I'm about to do an example, is that once this item has been posted, they can comment claim and they get a link to check out on that platform. It is absolutely amazing. 
So that is publishing. I'm going to bring up our designated Instagram account, which if you guys are watching on YouTube, I will put that in the uh, description. It's called Vintage and Lux Fashion Finds. Okay. So that has been posted. You guys see that it was this vintage circle skirt. Do you guys see it right there? Yeah. See how that just effortlessly got posted? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to that page. Oh, da, da, da. Alrighty. I'm going to head over as, as another profile, open it. I'm going to comment claim. And this is what you would tell your following to do. Say, hey guys, if you want to buy this, just comment claim. And what happens is in my DMs, I get a link to check out automatically. Is that not the coolest thing ever? You guys can also do this with reels and you can do it with your stories. It's a, there's a little bit of training that I would provide for you if you're interested. And again, just to keep this as short as possible, I'm not showing you guys tonight, but you essentially, if you want to post uh, to reels or if you want to post to stories, you just need to type the hashtag. So it'd be hashtag and this number. So onto your story or onto your reel, like as text. And then that tells Instagram that if someone says claim that they will get this in their DMs. It's the same thing on Facebook. Now I don't have this connected to Twitter, so I can't show that to you tonight. I'm sorry, guys, but let me show it to you on Facebook. Oh, is it not sharing to Facebook tonight? Uh, shopping. Oh, it doesn't want to share. Hold on. Let's try another one. Maybe there's something glitchy happening right now. All right. It doesn't want to share that one. I, I don't know why, but all right. It's publishing this one. And yeah, sorry guys. Like there can be some glitches. I think that's pretty normal with technology. So if it's not working, let us know in the chat, in district support chat. And it's, it usually resolves itself like within a day. Okay, so here is the item on the Vintage and Lux Boss Babes live shopping page. If I wanted to purchase it, I just put claim. All right. And then in my inbox, you guys might even see it pop up live. There it is. There's the link. And that's loading. Boom. Hey now. And then that opens. So I'm pretty sure this is a very similar experience on Twitter. Um, I'm just not connected to Twitter personally, but for anyone, or I'm sorry, it's it's called X. I, sh I should have been saying that this whole time. Um, and then again, because someone said claim, it's it's held in their cart for an hour. All right. So the other thing about multicasting that I want to point out is that if anyone is watching on YouTube or watching on Twitter or watching on Facebook, all they have to do for a buy it now is comment claim with the number that is shown on the screen. And this is all very automatic. Excuse me. Oh, and you see it actually, it wrote back to me. It's yours. Check your messages. How cool is that? So if I can find an example here, I probably should have set this up earlier. Basically, there's a watermark for the buy it nows so that anyone who's tuning into the live, if they don't head over to district, whether they're tuning in on YouTube or Facebook or Twitter, they can actually comment with that number and then they'll get a link to check out wherever they are. The only place that we're not streaming that I hope we are very soon in the future is TikTok and Instagram. Um, so we do not have multicasting to those platforms keyword yet. Okay, guys, let's see. I don't know. We haven't done a, a live sale on district for the last week. 
A lot of magic comment posting, which has been awesome. Okay, cool. That was Cynthia. Let's see. Did we have a live sale? No, I don't. I don't think we have. Okay, so you know what? I'm not going to keep scrolling. Um, but essentially, imagine that a little watermark shows up, and then you can you know, comment claim with that number that is shown on the watermark on the live. So let's just say it's like claim 77. I would comment and then I would receive in my DMs a link to check out with that item that the seller was just showing on district. As long as no one else bought it, I can check out with it. And that's really helpful because a lot of times people, they're not, you know, so open to jumping on a new platform right away. And they just want to connect with you where they're familiar with connecting with you. And so again, I think that's just like so smart that district figured that out because now we can reach all of our people at the same time. And as they get more comfortable with our live selling, they're probably going to come over to district anyway, because it's just an easier experience. If you are streaming on YouTube or Facebook or Twitter or Twitch, if you're doing an auction, they have to be, your customer has to be on district. And that's because the auctions, it just uses a very special technology that can't be integrated into the other platforms. All right, guys, I know this has been a lot. I have a feeling you're like, holy heck, I wasn't prepared for this. Um, so long story short, uh, we just did magic comments. And again, my intention was showing that to you was so that you knew that this was something for you. And if you want more information, if you want very hands-on training, we can create that for you. Um, or I can answer any of your questions over email as well, because, you know, you might figure it out for yourself, but some people just might need a little bit more, um, you know, hand-holding because yeah, it's, it's technology. Now, the other things that I just want to point out really, really quickly is that um, everything that is shipped through district gives the customer automatic tracking the customer gets emails when something has been shipped. They get emails when the item has been delivered. They get emails when they purchase something from you. I love that because for the first time ever as a live seller, I don't have to manually take care of that myself. So you actually print the shipping labels behind the scenes from district and that fee is removed from your payout. The other thing that I want to point out is that your payout is two days after an item has delivered. There is buyer seller protection. So if an item has delivered and the buyer claims that it wasn't delivered, you're fine as a seller. But if you're a buyer and you're like, hey, I bought a Gucci bag and you did not send me a Gucci bag, you sent me a can of seltzer, you can contact district and definitely get your money back. Um, why I love building this community is it's, it's very close knit. And so the people that I'm allowing in definitely have somewhat of a relationship with me. The buyers, there's there's going to be more space because the goal is that we get as many buyers as possible. So I can't possibly get to know all of them, but I want you to know that we have district behind us. So if you're nervous, if you're nervous even about putting your payment information into the platform, this is a legit platform. And so if there ever was a problem, your back is covered. Okay, guys, so I think that that's everything. There's a few more um, things that I could share with you. Um, I think that to end, to end our session, I want to walk you guys through how to book a live sale. And so I will be sharing that with you with the replay link. Uh, let me see, did I... I don't think I, I opened that on my screen. So I'm gonna open up Calendly. So for those of you that uh, are watching on, um, on the replay, you will get this link. If you are watching say from YouTube or somewhere else, you will have to get this link from me personally. Um, I'm not just gonna put it down in the description box. <laughs> um, but technically in order to go live on Vintage and Lux Boss Babes, you do have to register. And the reason is because I want to be aware when people are going live because I share you. I share you to our Facebook community. I share you to my social media. I do my best to make sure 
that you have as many eyeballs as possible. Now, all of the live sales have replays, which is amazing. And you can share those replay links out. Um, but when you're live, Hey, you know, it's great to know that someone else is going to be there. So I try to tune into every live, at least for a few minutes. So this is your link where you can choose a live sale. I have the live sales starting at 8 PM in the evening. Some of our sellers like to go live on the weekend during the day. That is totally possible. Um, I don't suggest going live, uh, during the week during the day, unless it's a holiday, so for now, I try to keep things fairly consistent with an 8 p.m. EST start. Your live sale can be up to two hours. It can be shorter, but you have a two-hour window. When you go to book, and that was for the 10 a.m. slot on the weekend, you are going to receive a few questions, name, email. Um, you're going to be asked if you've an iPhone or iPad and then your phone number so that you can get text message reminders. So if you are tuning in right now and you're like, Sammy, you know, I haven't connected with you, but I am ready to host a live. If you book a live, I will be in touch with you to make sure that you get the training you need on actually how to go live, right? How to bring items to stage, just more of the techie stuff that I couldn't get to during this training. So rest assured, Look, you guys aren't going to be in the dark. You will have some support. Now, the other things that I, I would love to point out is that if you have not been a live seller in the past, myself and one of our veteran live sellers, you'll see her on district. Her name is Odelia. We created something called Crushing Your Live Sales with Confidence and Charisma video course. It is 10 amazing modules helping you to understand the best practices and success principles and basically how to make money on a live sale. And it is only $42, which is such a deal. So once you purchase this course, you will get instant access to the course. I'll also be in touch with you just to make sure you know how to access it. And you can listen to it. You can watch it. You can read it. We actually have a lot of ways for you to absorb this content because some people like to read, some people like to listen, some people like to watch. Um, but I promise you that it will answer probably every single one of your live selling questions if you've never been a live seller before. We also offer a inventory and pricing review session. And I have a really, really special deal. It's only $35 for an hour of my time to basically look at your inventory and to make sure that you're showing the best stuff, you're pricing it correctly, and that you just have some general understanding of how to market yourself as a live seller. So that again is only $35 for an hour. And last but not least, there is a digital guide that myself and Odelia created. It's $7. It's called the Be on the Lookout Valuable Vintage Clothing, Clothing Guide for Resellers. And this is a great start if you're just not familiar with like vintage and clothing and, you know, just the whole value world behind it, this will help you to understand how to run comps, how to understand, you know, basically, um, you know, how to identify valuable vintage in the wild, but it gives you 50, okay, 50 trending brands and items that if you have already in your closet, you already have some potentially valuable vintage clothing. So this is $7. We are releasing a new guide very soon. Um, so grab this one for seven because the next guide is going to be a lot more, but here's some of our testimonials. That's me and Odelia. Um, and we scroll all the way to the bottom. Yep. It is only $7. So I highly suggest grabbing that. It will be delivered automatically to your email as a PDF if you have trouble opening it, just write back to that email and I will make sure that you get that guide. It's actually like, I think 250 pages. It's a long one. It's a freaking book, basically. Okay, guys. So last but not least, head on over to District. Get to know the platform. Um, $14,000 sold can be yours. We have some sellers that have probably sold that amount in a far less period of time. Um, you know, district is actually home to all other marketplaces. So you can join other fashion marketplaces, antiques, collectibles, sports cards. We have a couple of live sales um, going on right now. This is actually Cynthia. She's live on district. I'm about to 
hop onto her live sale after I wrap up this presentation. And, you know, what I think is just most exciting about this platform is that you, you as a participant, you're really, you know, on the cutting edge of, you're, you're on the forefront, the forefront of cutting edge technology. And your, your participation can inspire district to change things. And so you actually sort of have your hand in a startup. And that's what's been very fulfilling for me, as well as just, again, in having technology that enables you, the vintage seller, to reach a buyer, to sell more vintage, and for it to be a much more enjoyable and, you know, how do I say this, accessible experience when it comes to doing all the things that we have to do after we go to the thrift store, which is the best part of this whole industry. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I think that was a that was about 70 minutes. So right on time. Please email me, vintagebossbabes at gmail.com. I'll put that in the description on YouTube. If you have questions, anyone is welcome to join. Any anyone is welcome to sell in our community. Um, okay, guys, thank you so much again. And I will see you again next time.